in a world full of gold wipers, all hope appeared lost. But from the scrum, one clan emerged. This is that clan, and these are our wars. What's going on guys? It's Patrick aka Loach from Clan War Road. Gonna bring you a couple of sweet attacks from the last three wars we have had. I've been uh, slacking big time and covering our wars uh, and I don't really have time to do each one of the last three individually so I just wanted to kind of take a couple of cool attacks from each of the wars and show them to you guys right here and I am on the wrong clan. I'm like who is this is not who I wanted to show uh, but here we go King of Thieves on number 20 and he is doing a Town Hall 8 Go va ho, right? Uh, so we're starting here with a little uh, quad quake on the left quadrant there to open up this exposed middle. And this is a 8.5 he's going up against. No expos, but there's the queen to deal with and the king. And you know there's going to be a bunch of giant bombs right in the middle. So we start uh, with a clan castle lure. And I'm going to show this clan castle kill because uh, the last video I posted kind of showed some of the different techniques that we can use to cl kill clan castles now. Uh, and here we go with the barbarians to distract and then the dragon to take care of it. And then of course this dragon is going to move right in behind everything else to help take care of this base. So that balloon's just sitting there waiting to get roasted by our friendly dragon in the clan castle who finally takes care of that enemy. Uh, dragon and now we can move on with the attack. We got one golem here grabbing the attention of that queen. We're setting our nice wide funnel here. We want a nice really wide funnel. So look at this. This dragon up here is going to be the top funneling uh, piece to this raid. So that was pretty cool. Uh, six Valks coming in here. The queen is taken care of and right here they're moving right in and we're going to heal them up here in just a second. Take care of two of three, no, four, two of four, this is Town Hall 8.5. Giant bombs in the base, take care of the king, we got him on heal, they're still just taking care of that core, that dragon up there is already on cleanup, and we got hogs coming in from the bottom. We know that one set of double giant bombs is already taken care of, and boom, there go the other two right there. So they're all in the middle, and these hogs are free to roam. Uh, so confident that the hogs are going to live, he goes ahead and he heals the Valkyries. And it's always a question, am I going to use that second, third heal on the Valkyries, or am I going to use it on the hogs? And then for this raid, it worked out perfectly to use them on the Valkyries because those hogs had no threat of giant bombs. Um, typically, I think you want to use them on the hogs, but uh, because he tripped all of the giant bombs... They're free to keep the Valks up, and now they're going to assist in cleanup here, and we got Wizards and that Dragon. He worked on the whole northern quadrant, so that was a really nice technique. You know, Clan Castle being efficient, using the tro troops you use to kill the enemy Clan Castle, making them part of the raid, and he did that here with his Dragon, so that's really, really nice, and he did everything quickly. I think it was like 35, 40 seconds, so, you know, just on the border of that 40 seconds, you want to take care of that Clan Castle, but, um... Really nice job here. Everything was just, uh, you know, well thought out. King of Thieves, that's what he does. And he gets a three-star here. Ooh, we got a corner builder hut. Tisk tisk. I always save a troop for those. Make sure, uh, you know, these are coming into play with three minutes uh, to attack. Those corner buildings are coming into play, and um, we're, getting, we're getting caught by them. So save an archer or something. Uh, take care of them. All right, we're going to move up to Dr. D who uh, at Town Hall 9 is using a Gova Ho. He's got 10 Valks um, ready to roll through this base. So we're coming with a very standard two Golem entry. Four Wizards, uh, two on each side to set a nice wide funnel. We get the Queen down nice and early to start working. Quad Quake opening everything up. And we're just going to slowly let everything progress its way into the middle. Once the funnel is set, we got these Valkyries coming in here to take care of these buried heroes. That's the key with the Valk attacks. It's when these heroes are buried and the kill squad is going to have a hard time getting them. Send them Valks in there. They're going to aggro on both the heroes, tripping some skeletons. Got a heal. They're not going down inside of that heal. Uh, the queen, she's protected, taking care of the hound. And then we'll go ahead and get started with the hogs. And with this base, um, really only a couple of spots for double giant bombs. So he starts his hogs over here on the left side. They are going to be running through this base. Uh, basically, 
uh, free. I mean, nothing is going to take them out, especially now that they hit that heal. The Valks have caught in that heal, too. Uh, the heroes on the right-hand side. So this base just got destroyed. It was the perfect army composition to wipe out uh, this compact base. Oh, double spring set right there. That was a... That was, that was a killer. But there you go. There are the double giant bombs. The heroes triggered the other ones. So this very smart hog deployment, uh, starting on the left side, working their way around the base, knowing that there were no double giant bombs on that side. And on the right-hand side, we had the golems and the heroes to trigger it. So there's really nothing to worry about. And at this point, we are just cleaning up. We even got some... God, we got a lot of Valks up. Hogs, clean up troops. No corner buildings this time. So we are good for the three-star. Well done. All right, our uh, next video is going to be from War With Lawyers. This one came down to the last couple of attacks. It was a heartbreaker of a war, but it was a lot of fun. It was a great challenge. This was a seven-war win streak for us, so after the update, you know, getting those win streaks, we finally started getting some really tough matchups, and this is one. I think we could have won it. Um, I sucked hard. <laughs> So that didn't help, but uh, I, th I think we could have done it. But it was a fun war, nonetheless. And let's go ahead and show Dr. D again, because this time he is using a Queen Walk Goho. And I like this because he's starting the Queen up here. And 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So the Queen Walk, you know, is going to be short. He knows because there are no buildings on the right-hand side of the Queen that she is going to move up to the top part of this base. And once she is clear, we don't have to worry about him. We're starting with our entry at about seven o'clock here pretty standard four wizard entry test wall breaker and you know the rest of them are going to come in and get that uh outer compartment opened up and up here this queen is about to get the attention of the king so the jump goes down to bring the kill squad into the queen but paying attention to the action up here so that she can pop her ability and take care of that enemy king and now here is really nice that hound got pulled out and drawn to the queen who is going to sit there and take care of the hound. So not only the, kill, uh, the, the queen take care of uh, the king and those top buildings. Now she's working on the clan castle. Whereas the kill squad got in here and took out you know, a quarter of the base and the enemy queen. And we have hogs already working. Two heal spells in the bag and uh, 12 hogs yet to deploy. So you kind of know what's going to happen here in this raid. Uh, uh, giant bomb spots have been eliminated. That's the other thing with the queen coming in there at 10 o'clock. She's taking out a uh, potential giant, double giant bomb spot right here. Um, so everything was just well thought out. A uh, very complicated attack, but um, everything worked perfectly. And you can see that this base just gets absolutely crushed. A couple more defenses to take out. And it's all about the cleanup here. We even got a level 6 goblin new to Town Hall 9 that's going to come in here and help uh, clean up a little bit. Queen, she is rocking. Clean up wizard over here on the right-hand side. Meeting up with those hogs who had to go all the way down to the bottom and get those defenses. But Town Hall finally falls. Three stars. Very well done. And next we are going to go to the most current war. So we're starting our win streak all over again. This one's against Imperium Koala, uh, who use all of their attacks, most of their attacks. They just couldn't get stars on our top guys. They didn't even try on Andrew. So uh, this one was kind of um, done very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and show a Loach Bomb attack here really quick. I uh, did a little Queen Walk, uh, Lava Loon and it worked out really nice. We're starting to funnel up here because I'm trying to get the king in that top chamber. Uh, queen down here at 9 o'clock, some wizards up top to funnel, and she is just going to take care of some buildings and defenses uh, as we wall break into this L-shaped corridor right here. She's going to step right on up, and she's going to continue to take out these defenses. I can actually speed this up because you saw this uh, clan castle kill in the previous video I used to show different ways to um, take care of clan castle so you know uh, well if you watch it anyway that she's going to take care of this enemy queen here and the hogs going to come in and draw the clan castle and under poison the damage is going to be reduced the queen is going to uh, turn as soon as she gets breathed on she's going to turn and shoot these balloons down and then she's going to take care of the dragon and as soon as she uses her ability to take out the dragon and that air defense. I'm going to start with the king up here. Level 17 king, just not beefy enough to get the job done 
Up here, he distracts that wizard tower so I can wall break in. The funnel was set at the beginning of the raid so he can come right in here. Uh, this Tesla popped, and I think if that Tesla wasn't there, the king would have moved to that third air defense. Um, but with the skeletons there, it was just too much, and he's only level 17, so he couldn't do it. Anyway, we're spending a lot of time looking at him, and we're missing the uh, Lava Hound deployment here. And um, you'll see we got a haste and a rage. Really wanted to speed him through that part to get to that sweeper. Uh, these expos are set to ground, so I felt like air was the only way to go, and we just keep hasting them through. And, you know, honestly, they moved very, very quickly. I brought three hounds, so I was able to have a little bit of tanking to get to that third air defense that the king couldn't take out. And the queen is still up with the healers. Lava pups all over the board. So um, this one was in the bag. It was just a matter of time. Uh, you know, I tried to move very, very quickly. It's very stressful, especially when you know you have a well-executed attack to go through, and then all of a sudden you come up a couple seconds short. That's been happening to our clan a ton, and it's very, very frustrating. But these are the new rules. We have three minutes to do our attacks, so uh, we can't sit here and be mad about it. We just got to get our shit going. We got to move quicker. And, okay, to wrap this one up, we're going to show I got to do it. Andrew has just been using mass Valks. These Valkyries are so freaking powerful he came into this town hall nine max walls max defenses not max heroes but just absolutely rolled so he uses a couple of the velks to set a funnel and they just come in here and the walls just disappear when a huge group of them get on there he brought these freezes and i guess he wanted to slow down that clan castle um it didn't matter. He probably could have done this without spells. The rage right there is really nice. Those Valks just clear out that core and running around, grab some aggro from the king before they go outside. So then they move into this outer chamber here and <laughs> now a haste. Um, I mean, they just shred the base. It's not even a contest. Uh, you know, so Town Hall 10s that are looking to dip down and clean up Town Hall 9s, uh, you know, it happens with less time. It's harder for the Town Hall 9s to you know, three-star every Town Hall 9. So these Town Hall 10s are going to have to dip down to do some cleaning. And um, we can't afford Town Hall 10s to miss on Town Hall 9s anymore. So right here, you can just spam troops with some rage, and you're going to get the three-star, and you're going to get it very, very quickly. So Town Hall 10s, you are on notice. No more excuses. Get the cleanup done. Anyway, I didn't give you the benefit of showing you all three stars, Andrew, but... Um, you did very well. You got a lot of stars the last couple wars. Taking advantage of that powerful, powerful Velk. I sure hope she stays uh, exactly the way she is. I don't want to see a nerf to her because she's a lot of fun, even though the spamming is um, a little easy on the stars. I, 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 I'm tired of them making it true powerful and then taking them away. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap up these attacks. Uh, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Later.